Oh boy. Yes, I should be more excited about good old Saint Nick being in WWE Supercard. Mick Foley as Santa is coming to WWE Supercard. But um, I'm, I am just got onto Money in the Bank and seen something that makes me very interested. And considering I said at some point I would only ever grind Money in the Bank if it was a female or something that I really wanted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want this. I, I will have it. it. You will be mine, AJ Styles. Oh my god, AJ Styles is a Money in the Bank card again. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's not got the title, but it looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god, I want it. Uh, just going to stop fangasming right now. I'm a huge AJ Styles mark, as you probably have told. Um, I'm so stoked that he's still WWE Champion after Clash of Champions. And the fact he's going to be the undercard is awesome. I would also not be surprised if we find the next one. The other one is Daniel Bryan. Possibly even Kevin Owens. Maybe even they'll have another two. They have Owens and Zayn. They could even possibly go for Shane McMahon. Or I doubt they're going to go for Charlotte. Uh, it's too early for that. But hopefully we'll find out very soon what these cards are. Check out the stats. And we've also got some incredible King of the Ring luck to go through uh literally and in fact female luck in general i poured four female cards literally in the space of two days it was crazy in fact if you look at my female luck recently i got that one female carmella and then literally ever since then it's been back to back to back to back to back putting off the board or whether it's getting king of the ring could one of them be a pro we'll find out in this upload but if you like what you see in this upload and you're happy that aj styles is one of the Money in the Bank cards, then smash that like button as hard as you possibly can. You have a phenomenal forearm. I want to, bang, I want to hit it. Just don't crack your, the screen. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on while you're still there. But before we crack into some of this female luck and also checking out this AJ Styles card, uh, we are going to get ourselves a fusion chamber. I don't want to wait anymore, so I'm just going to grab myself this gold holiday gift fusion chamber right now which goes on to talk about the first one i got and this is when the luck really started when the festive fusions came in the second fusion i got was this girl right here you can see it on the screen becky lynch i am need to get this card so i'm really really hoping that at some point during this whole festive fusion thing that becky lynch becomes mine so i can throw it up and that'd be really really super useful for king of the rings and road to glory let's finish this now let's see what we can get out of it is it gonna be you know it might potentially be a single i don't know let's go and claim the rewards first thing we're gonna do there we go it's gold hole they give then it's gonna be braun Strowman. <laughs> it's gonna be really ugly sweater <laughs> braun Strowman. <laughs> I, I would sound more excited if I was actually going to get, you know, something good out of it. You know, that's this kind of that's kind of a, a big a bit of a let down in fairness. Oh damn! I'm just wondering what the other card in Money in the Bank is going to be. I need to just get myself some more ingredients. I haven't opened any of the packs today. I got myself a WrestleMania. There. Nice. Okay. And you know what? We might as well see if we can get ourselves a little bit lucky. Let's open a couple more packs and get ourselves some WrestleManias. Because if we can speed it up, uh, we've got another WrestleMania there. Yes, three in total. Maybe we can get some more. And then we can talk about that crazy, crazy female luck. Oh, another one. Actually, we've got three in a row now in the packs. Maybe we can get a double or a triple. That'll make my life a hell of a lot easier. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's have a look. No, that one stopped. And usually, whenever I get don't get a WrestleMania, I just stop. I'm just like, yeah, that that tells me. But see, see if we get one. Ah, we got, we got one again. So we carry on the streak. I'm so, I'm so, such a bad influence on myself. Yeah, just one more turned into a couple more. Yeah, yeah. I think I should stop. I think I should stop. See what we can get out of it. We might get a Titan. Who knows? Who cares? Let's do it. 
Time Big E, oh wow. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> okay, so if I get myself another Time Big E, that's the second pro, wow. Uh, I didn't expect that. I would have preferred if it was uh, the good old Bex, but you know what? I'll take I'll take another Big E, Big e. I'll take it. If it's another pro, that would tag very nicely with uh, the wonderful Mick Foley that's incoming. So yeah, nice little Titan uh, pack there, just for everyone. Just a bit more love and, you know, whatever. Titan cards everywhere, woo, etc. I'm gonna go back to the point where I got Sasha Banks in the King of the Ring, which you guys might have seen already. If not, well, we're gonna have a look at it anyway. And then we're gonna go from there. I'm trying to justify myself as to why I've just gone for loads of credits. It's that just one more thing, segue. Here they are, the brand new Money in the Bank rewards. We've got confirmation. We've got about an hour ago of what the cards were. Let's be honest, most people are probably not going to be too concerned about the second card, but this AJ Styles card, people are going to go absolutely freaking crazy for. Let's have a look at the cards. We have got Monster Charlotte as the undercard. I can imagine quite a few people are going to want to go for this monster female. Especially as, no doubt, there is probably, there is probably a few people who are going to get that card at the end of the month from the login bonus. That would be insane if they did. I'm guessing it's showcasing the winners from Smackdown Live this last weekend. Uh, in terms of a woman in the Money in the Bank as a card going forward, I would say it's got a lot to do with the Royal Rumble. If you don't know already, the Royal Rumble will, will have a women's Royal Rumble match for the first time ever at the pay-per-view which means that i would imagine whoever wins that is going to get a card straight away so 41 days and 23 hours i think is just after the royal rumble let's have a look at this aj styles card oh it didn't look that great you know on the pictures that looks pretty decent that looks really good so there is the aj styles i'm going to compare it against some of the other cards I don't believe that the uh, the normal cards, that the normal AJ Styles, let me have a look actually. AJ Styles there, We do we have a single AJ Styles we can have a look at? Let's quickly go to the Fusion Chamber and check it out. Those are the rewards, so 6101, 6, 16119. So his money in the bank card beats I need to go check that out one more time. Wow. I didn't expect that. Titan AJ Styles some money in the bank loses in free stats to the festive AJ Styles. That's a very risky decision. But <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, beats him in power by one stat point, toughness by one stat point, and in charisma by a little bit. So the AJ Styles you get here, I will be using purely for image purposes only. Nothing else. Much as I'd love to have the Clash of Champions theme, if it had a belt, I would go for it for the pro. So I'm going to be grinding my in the bank to get myself as high up as I possibly can. Jinder Mahal, on the other hand, I think this Jinder, no, he loses his speed and charisma. I think he's actually quite a strong card. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. I'm not sure of how he beats Triple H. We'll compare it as a comparison between the different Money in the Bank cards. I'm pretty confident that Jinder Mahal probably beats Triple H in uh, power and toughness, but loses in speed and charisma if we're looking at how things normally go. And if we have a look at AJ Styles, he beats him almost in free stats. He almost free stats this AJ Styles. But I can imagine this AJ Styles looks absolutely amazing on the Christmas card. So I've got to get it for that purpose. Plus the card actually looks really nice. The whole gold image thing looks great. I would have just preferred the AJ Styles with the, the belt over it instead. That just in my opinion would have been so much better. But I will take this because it is a great image. It's the first time that AJ Styles has done a, a different pose because usually since season two, he's not done, apart from that PCC, this pose, which is the phenomenal one pose. Uh, but he's doing the, the gun thing, which I'm assuming this, that's a reference to the Bullet Club, possibly. Uh, because I know that he does that as part of his intro. You know, as they can't do the whole too sweet thing anymore because of Vince Kennedy McMahon. 
But let me know if you're going to go for Jinder Bahal or AJ Styles in the comment section below. I personally am going to be grinding to get an AJ Styles single. I want that freaking image. And I'm going to be there and building up my bank contracts because I think next month, when the new Money in the Bank does come out, we will have a Charlotte event pretty much guaranteed. I I'm going to go out there and say that Charlotte will probably be the next event card. Because then you would have had three event cards. No, usually I vote for the fourth. So the third or the fourth is going to be Charlotte, I think anyway. Because she's never had an event card before. I'm rambling on here, but I don't know if you ever realized that. But yeah, Charlotte's never had an event card before. She's had a Money in the Bank card for Roblox, but she's had no event cards. She has had four PCC cards, but lost every single time. Once to Brie Bella, and the rest of the times to Sasha Banks. Things, because I love Charlotte, and I'm not the biggest fan of Sasha Banks. I like Sasha Banks, don't get me wrong. But Charlotte's like the most naturally gifted wrestler, probably, other than Pete Dunne in the entirety of WWE. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with these. I, I'm shocked, given uh, how weak the Christmas cards are against the Survivor Series cards. I'm really shocked at how weak AJ Styles is. The AJ Styles is very, very surprising how weak he is. Uh, yeah, this in mean, a guy with a sweater, a Christmas sweater one beats. Yeah, it just makes, it's a little bit like, a bit crazy. Let's have a look at Triple H actually whilst we're there. Ooh, yeah, like Ike's, ah oh, no, okay. So he beats Jinder Mahal in power and charisma, but loses in toughness and speed. And he beats, I think he three stats. No, he doesn't, no, he, sorry. He uh, two stats. At AJ Styles. On to the next Money in the Bank reward. Probably going to be a female in those because we will probably have had a female event in that period of time. And the female Money in the Bank card, I'm going to go out there and say will be Asuka. Purely because she hasn't had an event card yet. She has had a fusion. I'm going to go out there and say Asuka. But I'm just rambling on at this point. Let's get back to the female pools. I promised you guys earlier. So first of all, I got myself Sasha Banks. Then I got myself that Becky Lynch from the festive packs, which by the way, since I got myself the three male pros, I've got nothing good from those packs. Seriously, I'm starting to wonder how many packs you actually have to do to get anything from those few festive fusions. And the pull rate for the fusions is just uh, unreal. And yeah, I went straight to the King of the Ring, won it, and then this lass shows up. Natalia out of nowhere decides that she wants to be part of my team. Then. <laughs> And this is, this is where it gets crazy. Uh, I, I then get myself, I think it was literally a day afterwards, I joined another King of the Ring, straight in there. Bam, Trish Stratus. Just straight away, as soon as I got into another King of the Ring, I'm, I'm thinking at this point, my, my luck is just getting crazy in this team. I mean, the cards aren't brilliant, and I will be having a best and worst of Monster and Beast as well as Titan tier coming out very soon. And then out of nowhere, I pull myself three Titans in one day and included in that is Nikki Cross. So now I've gone from having just a solitary female to then having Sasha Banks, to then having Becky Lynch, to then getting Natalia, Trish Stratus, and then Nikki Cross afterwards. And then obviously I've got these hordes of freaking Sasha Banks monster pros everywhere. So I am ludicrously happy at my female luck. However, I do need to get myself a pro because no doubt everyone's going to be entering King of the Rings now with both Money in the Bank cards, both new Money in the Bank cards, the event cards, and that's going to make life very difficult for me. So I'm going to have to keep working. Maybe I'll get myself a lucky pull or two soon. But I think now we're getting back into the territory I don't know if you guys remember Survivor tier and WrestleMania tier back in Season 2 of a quest for a female. So we will be just going as hard as freaking possible to get a Titan Pro female as quick as we can. But the fact that I'm getting singles is a good thing because it might mean back-to-back -back events I get them. I'm nowhere near my next ladder of awards, so I'm kind of just hoping for the best right now. If you've got a Titan Pro female or a Monster Pro female, if you're going for any of the Money in the Bank cards, as I've already mentioned... Or are you going to get yourself that Monster Charlotte? Let me know in the comment section below. And make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button with an Exploder Suplex. Just don't do it too mean. 
I have feelings. Also, make sure you turn on your notifications on Master Joel there. And I have been Super Zombie God Barbecue. Thank you all so much for watching. One last thing, and that is to. Sorry! <laughs>